another random thought not so random thank you holy spirit we're about to oh look at this new bike i got y'all damn the yeah, lord is good basket. lord is good but yeah i'm not sure if i'm gonna have a random thought to share with y'all today but i feel led to just go ahead and start this video in case the lord puts something on my heart for you guys so yeah uh we're going up to the store. It's been a while since we made a trip to the store on our bikes. Um, but in the spirit of trying to get back in shape, we're gonna take another crack at it. Um, yeah, so y'all can come along for the ride and we'll see what happens. So I love y'all. Like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. And let's see what happens. All right. Stay tuned. I uh, just we just break right here at this church at the cross. Let me see if y'all can see that. I can't even see. It. Oh, there you go. So yeah, we're here at the cross. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I have no idea if I'm gonna have something for y'all. But just in case, I want to have a bit of an intro. So um, like, share, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And yeah, let's see what the Lord has in store. This is another random thought, not so random. Thank you, Holy Spirit. All right, let's see what we're doing. Y'all come for the ride. We about to ride to the stove. All right. Um. Okay. <laughs> there we go. The video's in there. All right, y'all. I don't know why my phone is not working. The camera is not working, but we made it here to the store. Um. It's been. It took us 48 minutes. I'm gonna let y'all know how many miles it was. I'm gonna look. And then I'll put it on the screen. <laughs> but yeah. So y'all stay tuned. Um, we'll see what happens. I couldn't really get any footage of us riding down here because the camera wouldn't work. But yeah, I don't know what the Lord has in store for us today. But y'all stay tuned because it's probably a word for real. Because technology ain't even trying to help me today. <laughs> All right. We're about to go in the store. I'll see you in a bit. Huh, what's up y'all I have no idea oh wait it's not even recording oh yes it is okay. I have no idea if this video is even gonna take I've been trying to get video footage all day and my phone was acting up I restarted my phone so hopefully it wants to work now but guys we just rode our bikes all the way to Walmart Wally World let me uh turn this I'm telling y'all I said I never been so happy to see Walmart in my life. Like, look, I Wait, was hold on. I was like this. I was like, Walmart, Walmart, I see Walmart, Walmart, Walmart. Like, I was getting crazy. And to think, I'm literally riding on a bike going like this. Like, Walmart, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> like, I was so, so happy. I ain't never been more happier to see Walmart in my I life. Hate I well, know. hate is a strong yeah. word, but I. Squat. I <laughs> but yeah, for the longest time, I did not. I hated Walmart with a passion for the longest time. Uh, sure. sure. <laughs> All right. All right. Somebody wanted to give us a piece of candy. Oh Lord, when you try to preach, when you try to talk about the gospel or the good news, man, you you will start seeing demons manifest. Then, boy, they be trying to run. But. The Lord is good. Jesus said, shake the dust off your feet if they don't receive you. They're not rejecting you, they're rejecting him. Which is the sad part, you know? But yeah, so we just rode our bikes all the way to Walmart. And I'm not even sure if this video is gonna like take because my phone been acting up all day. But hopefully it does. I'm gonna try to get some more footage of us of, of the bike ride for you guys. I'm gonna try to get some more footage. But if not, then this video probably ain't gonna get posted no way <laughs> but yeah all right y'all stay tuned love you guys what's up y'all whoo i haven't been able to get much footage because you know it's a lot of traffic and i don't want to be so on my phone but yeah we are taking a break uh the lord is good the lord is very good actually we actually saw some of our friends and they treated us to Starbucks, so that was nice. 
But for some reason, what I ordered made me feel nauseous, so I didn't drink it. I only took a sip of it. What did you have, babe? Uh, I, had, I had a vanilla bean frappuccino. It was so Yeah, I'm trying to get back healthy and in shape, so I'm trying to lose lose weight. I got like 50 pounds that I gotta lose, y'all, to be in my right mode. So I'm trying to count calories and watch the portions that I eat and stuff, so yeah. But that drink that I just got, it was like 60 calories, but nah, it made me feel nauseous. So I'm like, nah, I'm gonna wait to eat lunch at home. <laughs> but yeah, I love you guys. Uh, maybe I'll be able to get some footage. I'm gonna try to get some footage of the end. We're, we're headed home. Maybe I'll get some footage of that. But yeah, y'all stay tuned for the random thought. I love y'all. dealing with all the traffic and stuff. bearing with me with this video um i finally made it home i just had lunch with my daughter and my mom and i'm just gonna go ahead and do the random thought here <sighs> so lord just give me what to say give me something that will encourage the hearer something that will edify the hearer lord god um 
Thank you, Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs> but let's see what I want to talk about. Y'all, I know what I can talk about. Since we got um, we, the seasons and the times that we're in, right? So if you don't notice, when the Bible refers to seasons, it's talking about Yah's appointed times. His appointed times and his appointed seasons and stuff like that for things to take place. But we have our seasons, uh, summer, winter, spring, fall, you know, things like that, right? And one of the holidays that most of a lot of people are going to get ready to celebrate is Easter. And y'all, I do not celebrate Easter. I don't celebrate really any of the holidays. And if you've heard my mama song, the song that I made for my mama, I think it's called Mama. Yeah, it's called Mama. I talk about how my mom accepted me when I forsook all the traditionals, uh, Christmas, Easter, and even Thanksgiving. You know, I named them in that song. Accepted me when I forsook all the traditionals, Easter, Christmas, and even Thanksgiving. Pulled up the Sabbath worship and feast days. That's how I'm living. Listen to that song. I'll leave the link at the end of this video and like it, comment, share it. But yeah, I talked about that in that song. So I don't celebrate the traditional holidays, the holidays that we grew up celebrating, you know. And it's funny because my dad, I remember when we were young, my dad, he didn't celebrate any of these holidays either. And I wonder why it was like that. I'm not sure, but I think my dad was on to something too. Um, Probably the way he grew up or something. I'm not sure. I have to ask my mom about it. I think she would know better. But, um, yeah, he didn't celebrate all the holidays. It wasn't until, like, I was in middle school where we went to this different church. And I guess one of the mothers of the church uh, kind of talked my dad into letting us celebrate Easter, like the Easter egg hunt that they would have at the church. And even, like, getting, I don't know if we ever got a Christmas tree, but I do think he put up, like, Christmas lights and stuff like that, so... But yeah, no, nah, we didn't used to celebrate the holidays when I was a younger kid. But as time progressed, we kind of like assimilated into what everybody else was doing around us. But yeah, for quite a few years now, um, my sister, I love you, by the way, if you watch this, both of my sisters really put me on to it. But it was my sister, um, Sharon Tierra. <laughs> love you, girl. Uh put me on to, you know, just the fact that all these holidays are like pagan holidays and just the backgrounds about them, the background information on them. So um, I kind of just followed her into that lifestyle of not celebrating, uh, you know, the traditional holidays that we celebrate here in the States. Um... And she started doing something too. She started uh, 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 remembering the Sabbath and honoring the Sabbath. So she really got me into that. I would say it's been like probably six years now of me doing this. And and when I first started out, I didn't really understood, but I knew the Ten Commandments. It said, remember the Sabbath, and that's all I needed. <laughs> so we would uh, just kind of observe the Sabbath, you know, and... The crazy part about me or the wonderful part or incredible part, because my, my grandma don't like me to say crazy. So I love you, grandma, if you end up watching this one day. But yeah, the incredible part about myself is that I don't look at a lot of YouTube videos. Um, I don't watch a lot of channels because I be wanting to get my information straight from the mouth. You you get you get what I'm saying? So I try to seek yeah as much as i can and then when i do watch videos and stuff like that it'll be a confirmation like because i'm in my word and i can be like okay that's in the bible you know but i really got into it like um i want to say i was reading my bible and some of the apocrypha books too as well that really got me into like paying attention to the feast days did y'all know that the bible has holidays or holy days 
that, you know, if you stop celebrating the traditional holidays that we're used to, you're not going to miss out on anything because the because y'all, the creator, has appointed feast days and holidays like for us, for his people. And yeah, you really don't miss out. Like we have more holidays than 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 the Bible has more holidays to celebrate than we are norm than what we are used to. For one, the Sabbath is a holy day, y'all, and it comes every single week. Every single week. And then they have the new moons, which is the start of a new month when you go according to y'all's calendar. Because I don't know if you're aware of this, but the calendar that we're used to, the Gregorian calendar, is not the same calendar of the Bible. It's a completely different calendar. Um, the months are numbered, but the days are numbered. So it's like day one, day two, day three, like that, all the way to day seven, and then it starts back over. Day one, day two, like that. And then the moon tells you when there's a new month. So the new month comes every single I mean, the new moon comes every single month. And if you wanted to, you could celebrate that every single month. Um, but there's a Feast of Trumpets, Sukkot, uh, Passover, which we're about to come up on, which is around Easter time. And then after Passover, you have Pentecost. And they literally count 50 days. Every day you count it. And then it's just like you're just kind of getting ready to receive, you know, Pentecost is when they receive the gift of the Holy Spirit, you know. So like you count like 50 days and it's like you prepare yourself like you're cleansing yourself to receive what the Father has for you. Uh, Feast of Unleavened Bread. There's like all kinds of feasts, y'all. When you start getting into the Bible, you'll see that we're not missing nothing by uh, not celebrating these holidays. Uh, we're not missing nothing at all. And I'm telling y'all, it's a blessing when you start um, studying and learning what the feast days were because it's right in the Bible. He has instructions on how to do it. And the best part about it is that those instructions were for the Israelites back in that time. So we don't have to have the weight the weight of trying to do, you know, the sacrifice and all that stuff because Jesus came. So now we can just celebrate the uh, feast days and honor the feast days with not that much weight of worrying about our sins and us being unclean and stuff like that. So it's it's even better to live in this time that we're living in. And we still have the feast days that we can celebrate as well. It's way more fun, like way more fun. And you just be uh kind of led by the holy spirit pray and seek god and ask him how what does it look like for you to celebrate the feast days that's the what i've done and i'm telling you it's a blessing it's been a blessing a major major blessing for myself and my family to really just celebrate these holidays y'all but what i was saying was i don't really look at you know youtube channels and stuff like that i try to get my information from yeah, I seek him. I ask questions. I ask questions to the creator and then I'll dive into my Bible and search things out. And yeah, the crazy part is that he answers you. When you seek him, you will find him. And it's like little by little. And you just have to, it's like what what Yah is doing to me is like, how bad do I want it? You know? And I don't give up. I press and I study and you know, stuff like that. But um also I don't know, a, a couple of, I want to say maybe it's been like a year now. Definitely was sometime last year. I was looking out at the moon and I just had this moment where I was like, man, if I felt like the moon was tied to all these days and stuff like this, and this is before I had the knowledge that I have today. And I was just like, Lord, if you want me to know about this moon, if the moon is significant and to, to me, please let me know and let me not miss, let me not miss it. You know, let something happen that if I'm gonna miss it, that you'll just remind me, you know? And then when I prayed that prayer, it's like all these feast days and new moons even, like I'll see somebody, I'll see like a, a, a title. I might not watch the video, but I'll see the part, the title and it say new moon, what to do or something. And it's like just posting or something crazy like that or incredible like that. 
and uh, I'll go to the website that I have and I'll look and it just so happens that we're coming up on a feast day and I never miss it. So it's like the Lord's been faithful and he really heard my prayer and he answered me. And last year at Passover, we really did a um, study. Um, we really did a study for each of the different feast days and stuff like that. And we learned so much, so much, so much. But yeah, there's a blessing when you honor these feast days, y'all. And it it's a blessing in it. Like for real, for real. It's like you you get it's like you get more closer to Yah and you begin to understand like his his will and the reason his reasoning for different things and like the scriptures start to connect in ways that you didn't even know that they were even connecting. <laughs> you you see what I'm saying? But yeah, um, it's a random thought, y'all. <laughs> but if you don't celebrate the feast days, I would encourage you to just get into your Bible and look them up. Read about them. Pray and ask the Lord, you know, what are your feast days? Father, I want to know your feast days. And, you know, there's a lot of different YouTube channels that talk about them. But you just have to be careful because a lot of people have a legalistic spirit about themselves. And I don't feel like that's what Yah is wanting us to get out of these feast days trying to go by the letter like this 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 that because when you get into it and you're reading it you'll see that we can't even do a lot of the things that are required on the different feast days and that's why the messiah yahusha or jesus came because he died once and for all you know that innocent blood you know what i'm saying so we have a lot more freedom with these feast days that the Israelites really didn't have. But if you study it, you'll begin to see and know exactly what I'm talking about. But yeah, um, <laughs> it's been a long day. Y'all. I think I'm like three shades darker, uh, but it's, it feels good. We were riding our bikes. Um, y'all gonna, I'm gonna try to edit this video and put in there where people almost hit us. Like y'all gotta pray for us. It's dangerous out here, y'all. Y'all got to pray for us. Um, I really like riding my bike. I really do. Um, I think this is just like going to push me to do some research and try to get more bike lanes and sidewalks on these roads because it's just dangerous out here for bikers. Um, but yeah, hopefully we'll have a car soon. But even when I have a car, I still want to ride my bike because I just want to remain. Uh, I want to get in shape and remain more healthier and stuff like that. But yeah, I'm kind of rambling. <laughs> uh, Y'all let me know in the comments if you celebrate um, the feast days in the Bible or if you celebrate the regular holidays. Whatever way it goes, you know, no judgment here. Um, let me know. I would love to hear from you guys. Y'all, come on, get with it. Talk back to me. I haven't got a brave soul to really talk back to me. Well, I'll take that back. I have a, a, I've had a sister in the Lord, a brother in the Lord some brothers in the lord yeah y'all y'all do be sometimes y'all talk back to me so but yeah talk back to me if you're new here i talk back y'all so let's try to build some community uh but yeah like this video if you like this kind of content um subscribe if you want to see more of us um i love y'all thank you so much i want y'all to be encouraged we're getting closer and closer to these holidays just you know, really just start drawing closer to God. Whether there was a holiday or not, we need to draw closer to God. That's the time that we own, y'all. We need to be seeking him with our whole heart. You know, I said this a few videos back. I don't want to worship with just my lips and say, yeah, I love God. Yeah, I'm a Christian. Yeah, I read my Bible. Yeah, I pray. But you know what? The creator, he sees past what we're saying. He looks straight to the heart. So we need to like really, really, really cry out to y'all and ask him to just give us a new heart because the most scary scripture in the Bible is people will stand before Yahusha and say, hey, hey, Lord, I love you, Lord. I've been I've been doing all of this. I know that that I'm going to have an entryway into your kingdom. But he says he's going to tell them I never knew you. I'm paraphrasing, of course, but y'all, come on. That's terrifying to know that you can work, work for the kingdom, work for the Lord your whole life and still not make it. 
No, that means he's it's more than your actions. It's more than your works. He's looking straight to your heart. Do you really love him? And y'all got to know we're all going to die. We're all going to die. We're all going to stand before the judge and give an account for this life that we lived. And I know you want to hear him say, well done. So you have to repent, turn, live for him, ask for the Holy Spirit. He'll give you the Holy Spirit. All you have to do is ask for it. And then you submit to the Holy Spirit and you walk in the Holy Spirit and you just keep fighting this fight. That's what that's what it's about, y'all. <laughs> but yeah, I just want to encourage y'all. I love y'all. Um, yes, yes. My yes, it's in my uh, wallet. My wallet is inside my book bag. You about to go to work? I love you, bro. Later. But uh, yes, I love y'all. Y'all uh, stay tuned. Um, yeah. Thank you for watching this random thought. Not so random. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Um, yeah. I love y'all. Be best.